One week ago, a manhunt for an attempted cop killer ended with the shooter lying dead in a cornfield before it all ended. Three officers were wounded and a sheriff's canine was dead. Queen City News Chief Investigator Jody Barr asked why it took more than nine hours for the state to issue a blue alert. It's a warning system notifying the public and other law enforcement of an armed and dangerous person. It's okay to touch the door handle. There are so many bullet holes in this MACB police car, it's hard to count them all. Nearly every shot ripped through the glass and steel surrounding the driver's seat. Most of the holes were aimed right where Officer Jarrell Wright's head should have been. But the officer had slumped down in the car and played dead. The shooting happened one week ago at 11.13 p.m. When first responders got there, the shooter was long gone from McBee. But the public never knew SLED was on the hunt for an armed and dangerous man until more than nine hours passed. We asked the state law enforcement division a simple question, why? The state has a blue alert program designed specifically for cases like this. SLED's reason, the alert process was overly burdensome. The timeline shows by 2.57 a.m., three and a half hours after the shooting, SLED knew who they were looking for and what he was driving. An hour and a half later, agents were at the courthouse getting an attempted murder warrant. Right after that, SLED issued a statewide alert only to law enforcement, warning other officers of an armed and dangerous man. It wasn't until 7.05 a.m., nearly eight hours after the shooting, that SLED first considered issuing a blue alert, but didn't. Meanwhile, somewhere out there, the gunman who unloaded 60 rounds at a MACB police officer was still on the loose, and the public was still in the dark. Just past 8.30 a.m., SLED finally approved the blue alert, but it still took the agency another 25 minutes to get it out to the public at almost that exact moment. We're going to move to the cones back there. A Lee County deputy and a state wildlife officer were about to face off in a shootout with attempted cop killer Alston Modlin. The guy um, that was driving the vehicle, uh, I almost say, tried to ambush him. Uh, got out of the vehicle and started firing at the officer's death. Lee County Sheriff Danny Simon said the hell of bullets modeling fired there set this canine patrol car on fire. Sad thing about it is if you had a canine in the car, the vehicle, patrol vehicle was actually hit and engulfed in flame and I lost a canine officer in the result of it. When we got to the scene, Alston Modlin was lying dead in this Lee County cornfield. Because we pushed for answers, SLED admitted it took way too long to issue this alert. And SLED is now rewriting the criteria on how it issues blue alerts. SLED criteria that were drafted in 2012 proved to be overly burdensome and was vague regarding NCIC entry. The criteria have been updated and will be posted to our website by the end of this week. In the early morning hours, it was important to notify law enforcement, who in this case we thought most likely to encounter the subject, that the subject is extremely dangerous and has shot a police officer. This was a targeted attack against a law enforcement officer. Could a blue alert have been considered earlier? Yes. Should a blue alert have been considered earlier? Yes. The Lee County coroner tells me an autopsy shows Alston Modlin died by suicide from a single gunshot to his head. Now, we still don't know much at all about Alston Modlin or what drove him to try to kill police officers last week. Because a SLED agent fired his weapon in the Lee County shootout, the Horry County Police Department is investigating that end of this. That Horry County Police investigation is not yet finished.